Hi, I'm Xiao Liu from the University of Edinburgh. I will present a paper, Have You Forgotten? A method to assess if machine learning models have forgotten data. I will first introduce the motivation and the problem. Then different scenarios approaching the problem will be discussed. In recent years, concerns on privacy issues in machine learning models have been raised. However, privacy issues are less explored in medical imaging. Considering a practical example, to ensure data diversity, Aggregating data from multiple hospitals become normal. Using those data to train a model, we can diagnose or predict diseases. However, is the provider's privacy protected even if only the model is known? In fact, there are still serious privacy issues when only giving the model. Using reverse engineering, the training data could be recovered. Considering if one of the providers wants to their data to be truly forgotten, even their, their data are claimed to be deleted from the training dataset. How can we prove it? Overall, it comes to this problem. How to assess if a model has not used or has truly forgotten a dataset? Well, the triple solution could be just compare the training data with the provider's data. However, this problem is not just trivial. There are multiple different scenarios approaching this problem. Based on how much we know about the model from nothing to everything, and how much we know the data from nothing to everything, we consider four scenarios. The first two cases, knowing training data set and everything or nothing about the model make them trivial. Comparing the training data and the provider's data is indeed the solution. When training data set is unknown and everything of the model is known, Reverse engineering could be used to recover the training data. And it's not practical, as deep models usually serve as API and only the outputs are given. For the last case, a known training dataset and assume the model output and model design are known. It is what we aim to solve. Related work includes membership inference and the leakage detection about membership inference attack. The service provider using training data to train some machine learning models as a service. Users can upload the data to gather predictions. For each user, it may cause concern if user's data record is in the training dataset. MIA is one of the methods to solve this problem. Comparing to MIA, we also consider information overlap which is a more stringent requirement. For example, assume two datasets with two-dimension data here, the query data and the training data. The data point containing overlapped information in this area may cause mere methods to return false positive. In our method, we also need to consider this information overlap, and we propose a solution to calibrate this overlap. The other related work is leakage detection. For example, detect if the validation dataset is used to train a model in challenge competitions. Testing the validation and test the dataset with the model, two confidence distributions can be obtained. The details will be covered later. Compare the two distributions with KS distance, we can tell how similar the two distributions are. Hence, we can detect if the validation dataset is leaked. KS distance is the maximum difference between two cumulative distributions. It measures similarity, and it's in the range of 0 to 1. For the method, we first formalize the problem and we propose a solution. For the assumption, the training dataset D star is unknown, and we assume the model output and the model design are accessible. The problem is defined as giving a query dataset DQ a size if the target model fx trained on D star with width theta star has forgotten DQ. Inspired by leakage detection methods, we first calculate the confidence distribution by inputting the query dataset DQ to the target model. As a result, n output vectors can be obtained. Then, n confidence scores are choose using the ground truth label y. We can calculate the cumulative distribution of the n confidence scores 
to finally obtain the confidence distribution here. To detect if dq is in d star, we then propose to train a new model with dq that has the same model design as the target model. Then we test the query model with dq. Similarly, the reference distribution could be obtained. By comparing the two distributions, we can detect if dq is in d star. We calculate the chaos distance between the two distributions, that is termed as detection chaos. If dq is used to train the model, this detection chaos will be close to zero. On the contrary, the detection chaos distance is uncertain because even if no samples of dq are in the d star, the two datasets can be statistically similar. It is defined as statistical overlap. In this case, the detection chaos distance depends on how much the overlap is. To solve this uncertainty, we need to calibrate this overlap. So, how to measure this overlap without knowing D star? We propose to sample a large calibration dataset, DC, from the same domain D as DQ and D star. And DC has no samples of DQ. This mimics the extreme case that D star does not contain samples of DQ. We train a new model called the calibration model with DC and then we test it with DQ. Similarly, we can obtain a calibration confidence distribution. By comparing the reference distribution and the calibration distribution with chaos distance, we obtain the calibration chaos to calibrate the statistical overlap. To summarize, the detection chaos will be smaller when more samples of DQ are in D star, and when no samples of DQ in D star, the detection chaos is uncertain. And depends on the overlap, we use the calibration chaos to approximate this case. Then we can calculate a ratio rho by dividing detection chaos with calibration chaos. So if detection chaos is above the point, the target model has forgotten DQ. On the contrary, the target model has not forgotten DQ. About the experiment, we have benchmark and medical settings. We also demonstrate the results with the discussions. For the benchmark dataset, we use MNIST as the query data and assume SVHN is the calibration dataset. We consider different DSTARS datasets. The three cases does not contain query dataset, and four cases contain query dataset. For medical dataset, we divide ACDC to two sub datasets, ACDC 3T and ACDC 1.5T, according to the data's magnetic strengths. For each sub dataset, there are five classes including health to different diseases. We choose ACDC 3T as a query dataset, and use ACDC 1.5T as the calibration dataset. We consider different D star datasets. The three cases does not contain the query dataset, and the four cases contain query dataset. Recall that we can use the value of rho to detect if the target model has forgotten query dataset. For benchmark dataset experiment, our method correctly detected each case. For example, when only 10% samples of query dataset are in the training data. The, the ratio is apparently much smaller than 1, hence we can tell the target model has not forgotten the query dataset. Similar results are obtained in the medical dataset experiment. Both the two experiments' results support the effectiveness of our method. In our conclusion, we introduce a novel research direction about privacy issues on medical imaging to our community. We propose approach as a solution to detect if a model has used or forgotten a query dataset. In particular, our method can deal with the dif difficult problem of information overlap. We hope our method as a benchmark approach to inspire researchers to explore solutions to the black box data and the model scenario and other problems of privacy and medical imaging in the future. Thank you, founders, and thanks for watching.